Here to help us figure out the emotions happening beneath the surface is Carlin Purcell, always helping us process. Thank you for that, Car. Thank you. You're going to teach us how to be emotion detectives. I like the idea of this. What does that mean? Uh, well, first, I want to lay our uh, conversation in this quote by one of my favorite neuroscientists, Dr. Lisa Feldman Barrett, where she talks about um, we construct emotions through the unique interplay of our brain, our body, and culture. Okay. So when we think about emotions detective, detective is just another way to be like an inquiry into yourself, yeah. um, into your brain, the emotion concept that comes from the brain, the emotion concept that comes from our body and also our culture. And when you think about it, it really gives us data and information to understanding our emotional awareness, mm -hmm. um, our mood, mm -hmm. uh, our communication skills, and also our relational skills as well. And uh, one of the things, one of the most, I would say, powerful emotion detectives out there, uh, Elmo, I don't know if you Elmo. saw Elmo, right? Yes. I don't know if you saw that viral tweet yes. where Elmo, he posed, uh, he, they posed a they. very simple question yeah. Yeah. around, how are you? How's everyone doing? And what was fascinating, T, was how many people responded. People were like, this was the first time someone asked me how I'm doing. Um, and the responses actually brought tears to my eyes. And what really stood out for me is how many of us forget to check in with ourselves and how yeah. we're really feeling. And I think what we do right away is we're just like, yeah, I'm fine. It's exactly. a throwaway. You know, we don't necessarily get into it for a ton of reasons. So why is it so hard for us to, I don't know, identify how we're feeling and secondly, talk about it? Well, going back to the unique interplay around culture, yeah. what did we learn about culture from our emo about emotions? Mm. And me growing up from the Caribbean, being from St. Lucia, I was taught sweep things under the rug. Mm -hmm. We don't talk about it, mm -hmm. right? So from that cultural point of view, I think we all have that message at the back of our mind that emotions are bad. Yeah. A, I don't want to really share with you how I'm feeling, T, because I don't want to burden you. You have mm -hmm. so much going on with your life. And also, we forget that, um, that emotions is a, is a huge concept, and there's a lot that we don't necessarily necessarily have learned mm -hmm. to, to talk about or to do. So we really have to think about the cultural aspect of it and make sure that we're disrupting those cultural norms. You actually have an acronym that are going to, that's going to help us process and yes. identify yes. how we're feeling. So what is the acronym? So how do you become a great emotions detective? Start with WAVE. That's it's my four-step acronym, WAVE. So W, witness. Witness where you're feeling the emotions in your body, emotion is a bodily sensation. Mm -hmm. So I could ask you right now, T, why do you feel sadness? And audience members, why do you feel sadness? Think about it in your body. Is it yeah. in your stomach? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your eyes? Your is throat? it in your that I know I, I experience definitely anxiety in my throat. It takes my breath away. So yes. I have a hard time reading the prompter. I have a hard time speaking when I'm feeling the anxiety. This is where I hold it. There you go. But so. in terms of sadness, like I don't know if I've ever properly tuned into my body when I'm feeling sad. So that's so, a good exercise to get into. Being an emotion detective. So witness, and A stands for allow. Emotion mm. has a lifespan of 60 to 90 seconds. So give yourself permission to actually feel it. Don't suppress, don't rush through, mm -hmm. actually feel it. V stands for verify and validate. I may not have received um, language from my cultural inheritance in terms of what emotions feel like or what it is. Yeah. But this is where we get to validate and expand our emotion vocabulary. Think about adding more in your closet, not just a little black dress of I'm fine, yeah. but add some color. And E stands for express. Give okay. yourself permission to express. Like we've been taught rage and anger is bad, it's not. Scream it out, yell it out, write it out, journal it. Sometimes it's about sitting in silence to understand what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Other times it's sharing with a sister. I'm so grateful for my sister talk group. Mm -hmm. We explore a lot of those vulnerable conversations when you're in company, because vulnerability begets vulnerability and courage also begets courage. I feel like that's where that's where real friendship comes in handy, yes. that validation. Yes. Because your real sisters, your real friends will validate your feelings and your emotions. Exactly. And if you don't go through that phase, you don't necessarily want to share. No. So I love that idea. So the so you express, you mm -hmm. so you do the thing, you yell in anger, you cry in sadness. 
um, you do what you need to do, and then are you sort of letting the emotion go so you yes. can get on to the next emotion? Exactly, because it's an emotion concept. So we're, yeah. we're, we're going through those those emotions, you know, on a daily, 60 to 90 seconds, right? And yes. also, um, the language that we assign to it, it comes from our vocabulary in terms of what we inherited. So the current language may not have the definition you need. So express, explore, and give yourself permission to be fully human. I love that. Carr, thank you so much for that. Yes. Uh, and it's really nice that we can support each other that way. Any exactly. other any other tips on supporting Final each other? Final tip that I would say, get really clear on your own wave. Yeah. The more we're aware on our own emotions and being a detective for ourselves, it's, we're better able to support each other. So mm. in closing, I'll say the final thing from clinical psychologist, Dr. Kevin L. Chapman, he has mm -hmm. this really great tip. Emotions, we feel it in our body, so mm -hmm. that's the first place. So I might want to give you a hug, T, because mm -hmm. it might be in a part of your body where you need some comfort, you need to feel seen. Yeah. The second one is, what do you think? Do you think emotions are bad? Oh, Carlin, forget it, who cares? Mm -hmm. So really check in your self-talk tape. Yeah. And the last thing is, what am I doing? Are you closing up? Like you said, my voice closes up. Mm -hmm. I don't speak much. I don't say much. For me, mm -hmm. I get all a bit more like closed off. Right. So that awareness now, say maybe I can support you in, in, in what you can say, or again, bring more awareness in terms of helping you feel safe enough so you can feel fully what you're feeling. Thank you, Carlin yes. Purcell. So good.